Welcome back. It's still the breakfast and plus TV Africa. We're here to talk about, uh, set to talk about the fintech sector in the country. Of course, uh, it's been in the past an industry that has seen a lot of growth in recent times. Massive growth in Nigeria's fintech space is said to be amongst the best performing in Africa today. And we're glad to say joining us uh, on the breakfast this morning to discuss the prospects of Nigeria's fintech sector and indeed uh, a forthcoming fintech summit they call it the fintech summit we have uh, the head of growth of tech point africa uh, christopher Ameli, and of course uh, the senior editor tech point africa kolaole oluwa ni femi joining us on the program this morning uh lady and gentlemen good morning to you and thank you very much for your time Thank you. All right. Uh, can you hear me, Oluwa Nifemi? Yes, I can hear you clearly. All right, fantastic. Uh, let, let's talk about the fintech space in Nigeria. It's said to be uh, amongst the best performing in Africa. We've heard about things like fintech unicorns uh, and all that. For those who want to really understand what we're talking about, let's start from the basics. What exactly is fintech? I think we'll start with you, Christopher. What exactly is fintech? Okay, um, thank you so much for that. Um, fintechs are uh, financial service companies um, that help um, people and Nigerians and Africans um, to include them in, into the financial services. Uh, the way we know banking and and people being included in financial services in the past was imagine you have um, someone um, from a remote village who wants to um, be included in the financial services in the country um, the only way they could do that was through the banks right you have to go open a bank account and then when you needed to um, withdraw your money or even have a complaint and all of that you have to go into the bank but recently, we've seen innovation in that space. Um, and these are the kind of companies that we call the fintechs, um, companies that bring in one financial service or another um, to help individuals, companies, and the likes to participate in financial activities without any ease. Uh, someone like me, um, before, if I needed to save up money or the likes, I needed to do it through the bank. But right now, there are companies that can help me do that from my house, in the comfort of my home, and I'm able to probably open an account and run any kind of financial service that I need to run, um, be it loan, um, whatever I need to do. And these are the kind of things that fintechs are doing in this space. Uh, thank you so much. Interesting. Uh, Olu and Ifemi, uh, uh, Christopher has, pa has you know, painted a very interesting picture for us to understand and for our listeners to understand what we mean when we talk about fintechs and I can put the word financial and technology together. Um, some years ago, it was pretty difficult for uh, any business person in Nigeria to have a, um, uh, an API, let's call it that, an API uh, on their website or some sort of point of sale uh, link, you know, where, where you could just click and then pay a merchant on his or her website uh, from the comfort of your phone. You had to apply to a particular company in the country. You had to go through a lot of uh, checks and you had to pay a lot of money to get that link, you know, on your website or whatever platform that people could pay to you. I'm not going to mention names now. And then some young dudes came in and said, no, we're going to make it easier. I think the word people use is democratize. We're going to make it easier for people to just, just for free, for free, uh, or just for little money, get a link uh, where they can, they can share to people for people to pay them online. Uh, I, recently, I saw, I saw that this, this uh, behemoth of a, of a fintech company, which was like the only player, now is, is telling people, you know, you can come and get the same service for next to, you know, free, almost free. Uh, what would you say about this, this revolution? you know, this democratization of the financial technology space in Nigeria. Olu Anifemi. Okay. Yes. 
Yeah, I'm with you. Can you hear me now? Yes, yes, we can, yes. Yes, so, um, I think we should see this coming, right? The main goal of any technological solution is to make life easy. And I will take the instance of saving money. Uh, what we would have done to save money in the past is probably take your money to the bank, write a teller, go to the um, front of the cashier, and drop your money. Then you're told that your money is in your bank account. Or do thrifts, wait for one badala job, in quotes, a thrift collector to come to your house and collect it. They need to note it down on a sheet of paper. But the ease that FinTech is bringing is to make sure that somebody that doesn't want to go to the bank, for instance, or someone that doesn't feel that their money is saved with a thrift collector, and pick up their phone, go on a platform, and drop their money, move their money from their bank account, and move it to another wallet, and it is saved there. So democratizing is something that will definitely come. As much as we um, celebrate technological advancement, these are the kind of things that it will bring. And it is what we expect. If you want many people to access these services, financial services are supposed to be accessible to everyone, even though the rate of financial inclusion is still kind of low, but to a large extent, more people are getting included. And it even gets interesting because some of these technological services are also including people that are not connected online. They make use of agents. Now agents goes goes to the field, goes to the marketplaces of people that use feature phones, um, go go to villages and they help them to open accounts. They now serve as intermediaries between those the owner of the account and the people rendering the services. So in a way they are including these people such that if, for instance, a, um, a person that doesn't have a bank account, right, wants to ask for a loan, a person that, if that person is, in, um, is working with an agent for a platform, right, you can always go to that platform, and that platform can help them generate a transaction, um, like a transaction history that they can prevent to get loan. So that is the interesting part. Many people that would have been excluded naturally because of the prospects, because of the level of, um, let, let's say, of the level of exposure that they have are now being included because of these fintech services. So it is something that is good to celebrate. Hmm. Um, uh, interesting, interesting. Uh, uh, Christopher, we, we've seen, I mean, a uh, huge influx of... Um, uh, funding in, in, in this sector. We hear that we, we have what we call the unicorns um, in Africa and um, the majority of the unicorns we have in Africa are from Nigeria. I want you to speak to the, the potential, the impact, or speak about the impact of, of Nigeria, the performance of Nigerian startups as far as the African uh, ecosystem is concerned when you talk about fintech startups. Why is Nigeria performing so well? When other things in the country are not going well. So, uh, thank you so much for that question. Uh, we have the numbers, um, and naturally, I'm in Nigeria, so I will tell you that Nigerians are really, really innovative. Um, we have really, really uh, young people who are really able to do great stuff, right? Um, for any business, one thing you want to also look out for is the fact that if I open this business, what is my total available market, right? If you start in Nigeria, you, we have the numbers. Uh, we are the, 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 the country with the largest um, number of people, population in Africa, right? And um, we, an average Nigeria is also not in, um, afraid to try out new things. I remember the first time I, I encountered um, a company like Piggy Vest, um, um, in 2018, right? Uh, the first time I had that conversation with a cousin of mine, and I said, I have this app where I put my money and I save it in it, and my money there. The person went, oh, what if your money gets missing, right? Um, but over time, we've seen that people have embraced this a lot. So I would say is, number one, the numbers, we have the numbers. If it's adopted in Nigeria, you know that before you even finish um, solving the problems that is in Nigeria and say 
I want to scale and go to other parts of Africa, you would have been able to do something great. So the number is there, and the willingness of the people to try out new things, um, and also the willingness of the youth to, to produce and come up with new innovation, right? Um, that's why I think it's striving. And then, um, yes, there's the part of policies and, and the likes, but we can see uh, with the um, passing on of the um, um, National um, um, Nigerian Startup Bill, that even that is something that we are all looking at and saying, how do we get better in this? So I, I, I think Nigeria is taking the lead because number one, like I said, the numbers, we have the population. If you are able to crack it here, it means you can scale it in other parts of, of Africa. So thank amazing, you. amazing. Um, I mean, over one billion, according to your article on, on techpoint.africa, over one billion dollars uh, raised by Nigerian fintech startups between 2018 and 2021. That's that's uh, quite a lot of money, you know. Um, so let's talk about the fintech summit by Tech Point Africa. What is the fintech summit about? Why the focus on fintech? And any of you can choose to answer this question. The thing is, from what we mentioned, um, to think that how we mentioned the civil like a tip of the iceberg, that is people saving via their phones, people um, depositing money in bank accounts via their phones, people getting loans via their phones. It's even the tip of the iceberg. We we found that we discovered that there's actually fintech in everything, and fintech affects everything. This is what I'm talking about. Say insurance, for instance, is a little untapped market. In But it is a market. It should register on an insurance platform. Like there is like an added layer where you can pay, pay on that platform, where you can be paid on that platform. Although insurance platform is not a printed platform on its own, but it has an addition of a printed to it. So another instance is um a a platform where you can buy stuff, right? Or or even maybe it's not even a website, maybe it's an Instagram account and you're an Instagram vendor, but you can add something to it that can make people to pay you directly from that platform. So in the, in the real sense, there's FinTech in everything and it affects everything. This is what we taught in Tech Point Africa. And since we are to an extent custodian of things, like telling people about the impact of tech in Nigeria, in the whole of Africa, and how even big tech affects um, the continent, we felt that this is a good time to uh, explore this part, um, the, this part of technological advancement. And to All right, it seems we're having a difficult uh, connection. This is how much I want to say. And you don't even have to... Um, you don't even have to be concerned about it because you set it down and every month an amount is automatically deducted from your account and it goes into that savings by the time you are retiring and 50 you have something waiting for you now imagine you setting that goal for yourself so these are some of the things we want to discuss at the fintech summit we want to discuss how to build a fintech product if you're a developer an engineer or somebody that has a dream to have a startup we will even talk about platforms that can even help you to to build those um, those products uh, for instance we are a wide line sponsor is one liquidity and they have a platform that you can build a product from that is one of the benefits that you have for att to attend this um, event Oh, interesting. All right, uh, Christopher Aneli, let's look at the um, the details of the FinTech Summit put together by Tech Point Africa. Uh, can you give us the, the, the date, you know, the, the theme of the summit, um, and what we're to expect? What are some of the attractions of this forthcoming Tech Point Summit uh, by uh, FinTech Summit, rather, by Tech Point Africa? Sorry, I didn't get your question. Um, yeah, I think so, that's... sorry about that. Um, so let's look at the details of the summit. I mean, where, when is it holding? Where is it holding? What are some of the, uh, the, 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 who are some of the participants? What should people expect from the summit? What are the themes? What will the focus be? Um, the discussion areas 
in the forthcoming tech point uh, fin tech summit rather by tech point africa okay so uh, i will take um the part where you asked um, who are the people coming and what should people expect um my colleague um Olu Anifemi will talk more on uh the content part um what are people should expect to learn and and, and the likes um, who are the people coming um from our registration, uh, um, the, most of the people who are coming are active developers, um, people who um, have software development skills, who are working for one um, so, um, tech company or another. And one of the things that we want them to come and learn is, uh, do you want to build a company, a, a fintech company like the next Space Stack or the next Flutterweave? Um, there is a company like Nifem mentioned by sponsoring the, the FinTech Summit called One Liquidity that can help you do that, right? Who are also the other people coming? One of the things Nifemi talked about, my colleague talked about, is the fact that way more than ever before, the average Nigerian youth can build wealth, right? Um, you can stay in the comfort of your home. You can act like truth. You are able to buy U.S. stocks, Nigerian stocks, um, it's no longer like it was 10, 20 years ago where you are not able to do this. Right now, these things are in front of you. So I, I believe that there are no more excuses. We've seen people who, who had jobs that they earned hundreds of thousands um, over the years, working 15, 20 years, and immediately they retire. Poverty came upon their family because there was no tool or things that could help them plan. So we are saying to the youth, saying to whoever you are whether no matter your age that you should come to the fintech summit not just being able to learn in terms of content but you are also able to interact with fintech companies companies that can help you do this as a gig economy worker um, someone because this is something a trend we've seen in nigeria recently i'm in nigeria but i will be i'm working for a company outside nigeria how am i able to receive my pay right um um um, from from the company I'm working for, how am I able to receive my dollar, right, to make sure that I get it here in Nigeria without all of the hassle of middlemen and the likes, right? And these are the possibilities that FinTech give, give, gives to us. So anybody that, that wants to, and, and then um, Nifemi will talk more about that, people who are also looking to change careers, say you are in a dead-end job and you're wondering, um, how would this job ever even make me get anywhere in life, right? Um, there is a vast opportunity to be one, to, to do one or two things in the fintech space, from being a product manager, to being a B2B salesperson, to being a programmer, designer. The opportunities are endless, right? Um, so yes, these are the kind of people that will be attending. In terms of companies, um, we have over 26 fintech companies that will be gracing the event on that day that have come on board either as sponsors or as exhibitors. And we want people to come around to meet these companies. Because one thing we've seen is in this space also, trust matters, right? Um, so you want to use an app, uh, a fintech app, but you're asking yourself, is my money safe? Because when it comes to money, we are all very, very, um, how do I put it now? We are all very, very holding we are all holding it close to our hearts but i believe that physical interaction being able to meet these people and put a face to them and say oh okay i know someone from that company or i met someone from that company right at that event should be able to help in navigating uh, 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 um this 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 uh, uh um, process so yeah uh, those are the kind of people that we believe should be at the event and we've seen in terms of our registration and then we have the C-level executives um, who are buying VIP tickets um, because we have a high-level networking um, experience on that day where you are able to network with um, top executives in some of these uh, um, fintech companies. So my colleague will talk about the content um, part of, of the event. All right. Uh, Olu, Anifim, let's, let's get that from you. What are people to expect? What are the details of the uh, fintech summit by TechPoint Africa? the date venue the time and how you know the public can get to be a part of it you know by registering yeah um the date is 25th of november 2022 is this saturday we are a few days away from it and the venue is four points by sheraton 
on the island, Victoria Island, Lagos. Um, what do we need to do? What you need to do to get a ticket is to go to fintech.techpoint.africa. I'll take that again, fintech.techpoint.africa. And you can get the regular ticket for 4,000 Naira. I, or you can get the VIP ticket for 50,000 Naira. As Chris mentioned, there is a high level of networking that you have access to. You have access to the to stay in the same room with the speakers, speakers, C-level executives from from um, different fintech companies, top leaders in the fintech industry who are going to teach you. Of course, they are going to teach you, but then you will have access to them to network with them and also have other conversations with them if you get the VIP ticket. Talking about the content you will have access to. If you are starting, if you are planning to start a career in tech, and you are looking at if a, an industry like the fintech industry that has a lot of money, that has like that the, that the VC street at, like everybody wants to put their money in fintech, but you want to shop out of that money, so to say, you should come because you will have access to a session where you will be told which um, careers you can pursue in fintech. Um, what you should expect, what are the skills you have to develop. And if also you are planning to transition into fintech from another industry, you will also get to know that. Also, if you are planning to build a fintech product, there is another session that will tell you all the prerequisites you have to put in place, network that you have to have before you go into it. Also, if you are looking for customers for your fintech products, in fact, that is the best place to be. That is the best place to be because people that will use your product have to be enlightened about the product. So if you are at that place, you'll be able to meet people that oh, this is a basic knowledge about fintech. And you can also pitch your, your products to them and tell them to come and use it. Like if you want to onboard customers, just come for your fintech products. So that that is a lot of works and a lot more. What we are going to have there, and especially, I I I I, I try to emphasize this networking. Um, it, it, it's one thing to know what you need; it's another thing to not be left out. Because if you don't network, if you don't meet the people that will keep linking you back to things that will benefit you, then you are at loss as a point. So you have to come and network. After learning, you will network, make um credible contacts that will help you going forward in life. All right, all right. So for those who would like to um, register, um, you're saying they should head to t fintech dot tech point dot Africa. Yes. Okay, fantastic. Yes, so, fintech dot tech point dot Africa. All right. So so please take take us through through uh, just to, to summarize the date, the venue, the time. Okay, uh, like my colleague said, the date is on the 26th of November. That's this coming Saturday. Uh, the venue is Four Points by Sharaton. If you're driving, it's very easy for you to locate. If you are coming by public transport, all you need to do is, if you're coming from the mainland or the island, just stop at the bus stop that is called Samfi. And from Sanford, you, you'll be able to look up and you see Four Point by Sheraton. Just come ar around and we'll be able to, to meet you. Um, structure of the event, there is a main event um, where we have a keynote um, 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 speaker. And from that keynote, we want to have a little debate to find out how um, fintechs affect everything um, um, that we do. Like, like Nifemi already talked about, whether you're a business owner who is trying to to get your customers to pay you instantly instead of the hassle of probably going to the bank and paying you and you wanting to confirm and that takes a lot of time um, for you um, to to then do your business transaction after the main event we are going to have four breakout sessions and those four breakout sessions will be going in depth for two hours in discussing each topics um, one of the topic is how do you um, build a career in fintech um, another one is how do you start a, a, a fintech startup? Um, the other one is um, securing tomorrow with embedded finance, integrating fintech into your startup. So say I'm selling cakes, I'm selling uh, uh, weeds, or even I'm selling shoes and all of that, right? How do I integrate 
a fintech product into my offering so that like i said earlier people can just click one click um and they are able to um, um purchase from me and also um how do you hit your next one million um, fintech customers and for brands one of the things we, we we've seen that they get a lot from this event is number one um awareness um for their products this is a, a, a space that there there are lots of players in it and there will be more with time right, right. um how do you make sure right. that when people think about your own vertical that you are top of, of mind and um, how do you also generate leads generation of leads means you are there on that day we are we are expecting over 1000 people to attend all of these one 1000 people how do you have conversations with them to onboard them into your product on that day and then thought leadership um, how do you position yourself and your brand as a thought leader in the industry and we believe that for brands this plays a very crucial part in helping them uh, um, not just acquire customers but also keep their customers uh, right. i don't know if that was your question all right fantastic i'd like to thank both of you uh, for your time tech point africa coming your way with the fintech summit and of course you can register at fintech dot techpoint.africa you can go there for more information christopher Nele is the head of growth for uh, tech point africa and of course kola wale ulua nifemi senior editor tech point africa ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for your time and uh, uh for giving us the information and also giving us the analysis as regards the uh, fintech sector in nigeria thank you very much you very much all right all right all right, have yourself a nice day. Christopher, thank you as well. And uh, we'll take a break uh, when we come back. Have you, have you ever been faced with a flight delay or flight cancellation at an airport anywhere in Nigeria? My guess is you probably have. We'll look at that, what's responsible for that, and of course, the way forward for this situation in the aviation sector. The Assistant General of the Aviation Safety Roundtable Initiative joins us ahead. Please stay with us.